Good evening, I'm Katie McCollum from Coeur d'Alene, and I'd like to know why are you here? Why are you here? During the July 27, 2020 commissioners meeting, Bill Brooks said that he thought the head of the Panhandle Health Department, just one position, should be an elected position. Oddly enough, during the October 20, 2020 commissioners meeting, Bill Brooks brought up and made a motion to approve a resolution that he drafted, 2020-69 Alternate Forms of Government Study Commission, a commission that would decide whether or not to recommend putting on the ballot whether several important Kootenai County positions would be appointed, not elected. So in a matter of less than three months, Bill Brooks thought that the head of the Panhandle Health Department should be elected but the sheriff, coroner, assessor, and other important county positions should be appointed. When Brooks first brought up this proposal, the community showed up at the commissioner meetings and talks to say, no, we don't want this. At lectures and talks, he called anyone that opposed him stupid, ignorant, misinformed, I love this one, chihuahuas with microphones, <laughs> behaving like hyenas taking down a zebra, and said many other rude things to the community, many of those people whom had voted for him. And shame on you, Dave Botting, because you said, oh, that's just Bill. He doesn't have a filter. This man represents the constituents of Kootenai County, yet he calls them names when they are not agreeing or doing his bidding, as you are. There is no need for the residents of Kootenai County to incur more taxes to pay for five or seven commissioners and a city manager when three are just fine if the three work together. Bill Brooks tells anyone that will listen to him that he doesn't like one of the commissioners, and we know that is, and he doesn't like working with them. If he can't do his job and work together with both of the other commissioners, then he should step down and let the county have a more receptive commissioner. Chris Filios was on the board from on board for all this from the beginning, and it was very obvious from his interview that I sat here and watched in person, his interview with the city commission, this study commission, he was campaigning for the city manager job every step of the way. He already created one job and gave it to someone in this room, and she is fiercely loyal to him. That's how appointments go. That is also how current jobs and new jobs get created and friends and family and special interest groups get appointed. That's how more corruption happens in our local government. This study commission is a mistake. It should have never come to pass. Brooks and Filios are counting on you giving them what they want and they're counting on the special interest groups in this county voting for their plan. All of you are merely their tool, a means to an end. The vast majority of the people that have come and that you have interviewed have told you to leave things the way they are. The majority of the community that you're here to represent have also said leave things the way they are. Four of you listened to the interviewees and to the community. Five of you, I believe, were appointed so that you could have this plan work because your minds were made up before you even got started. <laughs>